Okay guys, so today we're going to make some chapati. And to make chapati, we need very simple ingredients. Uh, we need uh, all-purpose flour. Uh, we need some oil, vegetable oil. We need some little sugar and about a teaspoon of salt. And we need some warm water. And that is all. So on to the process. Okay guys, so we'll start off uh, with uh, mixing. And I'll be teaching my nanny how to cook soft layered chapatis. So we'll add in the salt and sugar. Okay, and mix it all in so that it's evenly mixed in the water. Then we will now add in the flour. Bit by bit, little by little. And then we'll knead it all. So you just knead it until you get a hard dough. And so we'll add in more flour. So continue kneading so as you go on kneading um, if you see you will see when you need to add some flour like this one it's still very wet so we'll add some more flour and continue kneading so make sure you knead it until there is no more dough remaining in your hands. So you just keep kneading and kneading and kneading until the sides of your bowl is clean. The sides of your bowl are clean and then as well as your hands should not have any dough remaining. So you keep kneading and kneading until it's all clean. When the dough is all made now you can go ahead and add some oil you can pour some in your hands yes and then now knead the dough with the oil and ensure you put the enough oil until the dough is soft so you knead it in and knead it in as you wipe the sides of the bowl so that it is all clean. So you knead all the oil in. This is the first step that ensures that your chapatis will be very soft. This is the first secret, guys. I've just given you a very important secret to ensuring that your chapatis are soft. Oil. So number one, remember warm water. Number two, oil when you're kneading. So you knead and knead and knead until the whole dough is soft and the oil is in the oil is enough. You've put in enough oil. So once your the sides of your bowl are clean and your dough feels soft, then you know you've done a good job with the oil. Then after that, now you will let the dough rest for at least one hour so that it can get soft. So uh, after your dough is ready, now we will let it rest. So we will cover it. Cover it and let it rest for at least one hour. If you can do, you, if you can let it rest for more than an hour, the better. But 
course, if you're in a hurry, then let it rest for at least one hour. It makes all the difference. So guys, uh, our chapati, uh, our dough, we had covered it. So I'll just uncover it. It's about an hour later. And as you can see, it's become soft. So we we'll remove this. And now we can start rolling it. So, as you can see, the dough is soft. It's very soft. And uh, now it's ready to be rolled. So we start rolling in the oil one by one. If it's sticking to your fingers, you can add some flour like that so that it doesn't stick. So just make a good size, not too big and not too small. Then put some flour there. More flour. Spoon. Then you just roll it like that. So you roll it like this. Then you roll it again. Turn. Roll. Flip. Roll. Don't mind the shape at this point. It's not important. The important thing is that you roll it all out. Until it's all rolled out. Then you can put the you can apply the oil so make sure you apply the oil now this is the other trick to ensure that you have the soft layered chapati the oil that you apply at this point helps the chapati to be soft when you cook it then you roll it up like this now, the act of doing this helps in forming the layers. As you can see, you have all these, these are the layers that will form. And then after that, you wrap it up like that. Now this will form even more layers as you take it round and round like that. Roll it into a round shape, then Put some flour in the surface you're going to put it on and then you put it there there and then you repeat that process over and over and over so i'll just do that again in case you missed it so i'll take a sizable amount do this and then roll it so you roll, flip, roll, flip, roll, flip, roll, flip, roll, flip, roll, and flip. I think it's big enough. Don't mind the shape at this point. And then apply your oil. Okay, then again, do the same thing, roll it up, and then roll it round, 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 tuck, there you go, and there's our second one. So we'll do the same thing for the remaining uh, dough, and then we'll be back with the next step. So I've just shown my nanny how to do that and she's also going to try it for the first time ever. She has never cooked chapati, she's learning. So I've demonstrated what she should do, so she's doing the same thing. Yeah, so you put some flour and then you roll. Roll. Spuma nanguv. Aya, geuza. Skuma ten. Uh 
she is learning mm -hmm. geuza ashika upande huu na huu hivi unafanya tu hivi afu na geuza tena ukishika hapa na hapa naona inakuwa kubwa haraka afu tumi nguvu nyingi afanya tu hivi afu ikishakuwa kubwa utanini utapaka mafuta mafuta ya kutosha vizuri. Sulana ndivyo paka. Ongeza kidogo. Paka ndo kando. Mhm. Haya, tosha. Haya, sasa. Roll. Mhm, kunja, kunja. Kunja kwa matoa tu sijali eh <laughs> kunja good ah <laughs> chini 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 tu hapa eh <laughs> haya kunja hivyo ndio utajifundisha eh eh kunja ni ngumu kutazoea tu fanya mara kadhaa utazoea haya <laughs> good next Okay, so she'll just do it so that she gets used to it. But she's doing well so far. What do you think, guys? I think she's doing well. For a first timer, she's doing really well. Okay, guys. So now we are done rolling all the chapatis. As you can see, they're all rolled up there. And uh, now we are ready. We are done oiling. Now we want to start the process of rolling them so that we can cook them. So I'll start with this one. You start with the one that you oiled first. You'll find that it's the softest. So I'll just put some flour. And then I start rolling. Let me create some space. Okay, so I start rolling. So you just roll it like that, turn. But now you have to take care so that you don't spoil the shape. Turn. Okay. Roll. Turn. Roll. Make sure as you roll, you try and make the sides thin so that you don't have chapati that is thick on the sides. You roll it evenly so you just roll flip and try as much as you can to make it round roll flip roll flip yeah that one is ready so now by this time your pan should be heated so now let's move over to the other side where we'll be cooking so i'll just place this on the hot pan and then we continue so we move over to the other side Okay, so guys, our pan is ready. The pan is already very, very hot. So always ensure that before you put your chapati on the pan, your pan is hot. So I will just pick the first chapati and place it on the pan like that. Okay, so the process starts. So I'll just wait for it. Yeah. The pan is hot. Now you see when the pan is hot, it doesn't stick to the pan and it cooks very fast. And it also ensures that the chapati does not become hard while on the pan. Okay, so I have my spoon. So I'll just use it to turn it around. Then I apply some oil. So I just apply some oil like that. 
eyelids. Then I turn it again and oil the other side as well. Just that. Then now I wait for it to cook. So you can just turn it round, round, so that it cooks evenly. Take it round and round. Turn it. Yeah. The color is changing. It's a nice color. So you cook it until it's a nice golden brown color. You know that golden brown kind of color? Yeah, that's what you want to achieve. So you do that. Check if it's ready, not yet. Just give it a bit more time so that it gets a nice color. I'll turn it just so that I brown it a bit more on the other side. And then it's ready. So I'll just remove it and put it on the plate. And now we continue with the same process over and over. So I'll just do the same thing again. So I place it on the pan and let it cook. And on and on you go. So just watch and learn. It's just the same thing I did with the first one. I'll do with the second, the third, until the very last one. So when you do that, you know it's ready. Tiny, tiny. As you can see, the chapati is already soft, even as um, it's still on the pan. But it's soft, but it's not falling apart because of the process that I used to prepare the dough. Then you turn it, oil this side. So we just cook it. Cook it, cook it. Turn it. Voila! Look at that color. Guys, look at that color. Isn't it lovely? Mm. That color is just perfect. It's a perfect brown color. So. We'll just do that and then ensure the other side is cooked as well, evenly brown, golden brown. Yeah, it's perfect. And then I remove it and put it there. And we continue with the same process until you finish all the chapatis. So I'll just continue. My nanny, next my nanny is doing the practicals. So... She's getting a bit of a challenge, but she's getting there. Not too shabby. I think she's doing well. Mm -hmm. So let's see how she does. Metrosha. Ay, mafuta. Sakupaka mafuta. Kiasi tu siwa nyingi sana. Ay, tandaza. Ya metosha. Ay. Pande mungini. Ay. Paka mafuta. Mm. 
ongeza kidogo uweke huku kando kando kidogo sana sio mingi nika mingi lakini ni safi kando eh uh -huh. spread mm -hmm. ah geuza isiungue aha Nona rangi ni mzuri. Mm, mzuri kabisa. Hiyo ilingua kidogo si mbaya lakini. Hii sasa ni mzuri, iko perfect. Mm, mzuri kabisa. sasa uchunge isiungue tena. Okay guys, that was my nanny. What do you think? Please give me, uh, please comment down below and let me know how you think she's performed. I think she's doing really great for a first timer who has never cooked chapati in her life. Okay, that one is a bit shapeless, but it's still okay. I think it will turn out okay. So I'll help her out. Please comment and let me know what you think. Thanks guys. So guys, I had to show you this one. This one now she rolled uh, up the the chapati but it's oversized it's so big guys it's too big for the pan but well let's see how it turns out i think it will be okay it will be okay despite the big size so haya geuza geuza pole pole sikatike mara mbili ni kubwa this is an oversized chapo chunga chunga hiyo ina mwagika ni sawa tu endelea tu weka weka shika na hii mkono uweke karibu isimwagike shikilia mafuta na mkono ukipaka mhm mm ah fanya haraka isiungue isiungue pande huo mafuta hiyo bado hujaeka mafuta ya kutosha Uh -huh. kando 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 haya sawa haya paka haraka haraka ugeuze kabla ijaungua kizuba itaungua uh, so. okay not too bad guys i think <laughs> not too bad So guys we're just cooking our last chapati right now as we wind up mm. and then we can serve it as you can see the color is really nice golden brown color They're very attractive and i think my nanny has done a good job today for a first timer who has never cooked chapati in her life She's done really well. So guys, we are done with cooking our chapatis and as you can see, they are very soft. They are very soft and they have layers. There you go. The soft layered chapati. You can see that. And that is how you cook soft layered chapatis. So guys, Please try out the recipe and uh, comment down below. Let me know how that went, whether you were able to get these soft layered chapatis. This would be a perfect surprise uh, to cook for your family during this Christmas season and even to teach your nanny like me. I have taught my nanny today. Hopefully, she'll do a good job next time. So thanks for tuning in. And please, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe like share comment on this video and let me know your thoughts until the next time when we'll be cooking again this is Beulah's kitchen and it's bye bye